Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, The Soul Purpose, and I'm coming at you with another video. Just random things I've picked up at my local thrift shop, Goodwill, Salvation Army, just random stores, um, Craigslist, stuff in that nature. Uh, today I'm going to show you the VHS tapes I got. I got a bunch of Nickelodeon stuff. These two are doubles, that's why I have them on top of each other. It's pretty awesome finding these. Reminds me of my childhood. I used to love watching the Rugrats all the time with my little brother. And uh, it was like a Blue's Clues and a Little Bear in the lot too, so I just took them. I thought that was pretty cool. I remember watching Little Bear. I briefly remember watching Blue's Clues because like I was already old enough to like not watch Blue's Clues but um I remember like my cousins watched it and time to time my little brother would watch it so I really briefly remember stuff from Blue's Clues but not too much more on the Rugrats tip and um I also found some books as well I got them for like I think they were like 10 cents a piece so I had to like snag that. Plus I seen a goosebumps in the lot. So I just just pretty much gave her 50 cents for all three of them. Um I found this sealed. And I found it for if I'm not mistaken it was 4 bucks. And this is God of War the first run sealed. And I got this as well for 4 bucks. So, I mean, that right there was just incredibly crazy. I did not expect to find this game sealed. Like, I've seen this game so many times, but sealed, I've I've never seen it. I mean, back in the day, obviously, I've seen it in the stores, but nowadays, I do not see this game sealed. So, that was honestly pretty cool. I'm actually pretty stoked to have this game and it's sealed so like I just can't keep I just can't stop saying that enough um, Burnout 3 was an awesome game I remember playing this game a whole lot for Xbox and I still have my original Xbox so I'm definitely gonna play that game because I have it I'm not opening this game so yeah uh, I'm gonna keep this sealed I already have this game used I'm not sure if I have the case and the artwork for it, but I know I have the game. So I'm going to keep these sealed. I'm not opening that ever. Um, I might in the future sell it or trade it. I'm not really sure. I can't honestly tell you right now, but for right now, I'm definitely going to keep it in my collection. And um, as far as the VHS tapes, I'm definitely digging them. It was an awesome pickup. I think I got everything for... Um, I think it was like eight dollars or I think it was no I think it was six dollars and whatever like eight bucks like and either or it was six or eight um I got all of them so I, that was a hell of a steal and I actually like I said I actually remember watching Rugrats um not sure what episode is what because I don't watch it too much but I know the second it starts playing I'm gonna remember it without a doubt and I was actually pretty stoked to get this, I can't lie. Um, I was very happy to get these two, though. I mean, I cannot lie, that was just amazing. I did not think that was going to be possible because, I don't know, I, everybody just, you know, it's like the first thing people look for nowadays is like video games when they go to like their local thrift shops or swap meets or anything of that nature you know like goodwills and stuff like that and they normally just like you know look for the video games and stuff like that i look for like the vhs tapes and the video games anything honestly that catches my eye that i really like i mean <clears throat> you know without a doubt i was gonna get this i mean between the both of both of them i think it was like 10 bucks so i mean phew. This was sealed twenty dollars back in the day. I remember like platinum hits were like nineteen ninety five or something like that, or like nineteen ninety nine. I'm not really too sure. And I know God of War was definitely like a forty or fifty dollar game back then. So you know to get them both sealed for ten bucks, I mean that's just insane. Um, I got another Goosebump book to my collection. This was Nickelodeon related, so I thought it was pretty cool. I like SpongeBob as well. Um, never seen this 
um, or I never read it. I'm not sure if there's a cartoon that reflects it, but I'll definitely look through it. Like I said, they were like five, five cents each or 10 cents each. So it was definitely worth it. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, give it, give it a thumbs up. If you think these two games were an awesome find, give it a thumbs down. If you hate the fact that I found them and you didn't either way, uh, negative, positive feedback or likes, inspires me to just make another video and keep um giving you more stuff of the you know things i come across and that i find and that i buy and that i'm into so i hope you guys like my video remember to like comment and subscribe and have a pleasant day peace